Hello my fellow book addicts, Megan here and time for my October TBR. So I did really good with September. I got my TBR pretty much wiped out except for one book and that book is The Bronze Key by Cassandra Clare and Holly Black and this is book three in the Magisterium series. And because this is a short book, because it's middle grade, it's gonna be nothing for me to get through this. I should be able to get through this in October, no problem. So the next book on my TBR, I do not currently have because it's not out yet. And it is The Hammer of Thor by Rick Riordan and it is book two in the Magnus Chase series. Now I'm so excited. I have plans to go get it right from work. So that's gonna be awesome. So the next book on my TBR is a continuation of a series. And it is The Siege of Machinda by John Flanagan, and it is book six in the Ranger's Apprentice series. So, I still absolutely love this series, and I'm so glad that I can go on to the next book for October. And like any other month, if I can get further into the series, I'd be super happy. But if I can only get through this book, I'm completely content with that. So... I was going to try and keep my TBR down this month. I really was. Story of my life. But I started thinking I'm going to be moving again in a couple months. And I have a lot of first books in a series and a few standalones chilling out on my bookshelf. And they've been there for a while. So I want to focus this TBR mostly on trying to get through them so that I can figure out which ones I like enough to keep and which ones I like enough to unhaul. Because, you know, between moving, I want a little less to pack, and it's going to be October, so December is going to be two months away, meaning Christmas books. So I want to make some space for that as well. So I figured, oh, I'll pick a couple of books I haven't read yet, the first in a series or standalones from my shelf to give them a read so I can figure out if I want to keep them or not. And that quickly turned into a bigger number than I intended. So yeah, this TBR is going to be a little longer than I intended. And a lot of these I don't know much about. I'm going into blind. Plan to keep it that way. So let's get into this. The first of these books is Illusion to Fate by Kirsten White. And this has been on my shelf for at least a year, probably a little bit more. And I don't know, what really drew me to it was the cover. I, something about the cover, I just loved. It drew my eye somehow. And sadly, I haven't gotten to reading it yet. So next book I have is Storm Siren by Mary Weber. So it was mostly the cover that drew me to it, as well as the title. The title was really interesting to me at the time. The next book I have is Anti-Goddess by Kendra Blake, and this is for the first book in a trilogy. And from what little I know about this book, apparently the gods, the Olympian gods, or at least some of them, have started to die. These supposedly immortal beings that never die are starting to suffer these very slow and painful deaths. And that's pretty much the extent of my knowledge. It really, you know, drew my attention and I figured, why not read it? This is a book that I got way back when I was first starting booktube. So it's been on my shelf for a while. The series is finished, so I should hopefully be able to binge read it. The next book I have is The Rules by Stacey K. And this is book one in Project Paper Doll. And just from what I can see on the back, it's focused around this girl who has escaped from a genetics lab where she was created. She's a hybrid and she's basically trying to fit in with the normal human population. So she's trying to live a normal life, staying under the radar and just trying to blend into human society. All right, and the final book on my TBR is Valkyrie Rising by Ingrid Paulson and I don't know much about this book at all except that it takes place in Norway and just based on that little fact and the fact that Valkyrie is in the title I really hope this has something to do with Norse mythology because just I love me my mythology of any kind so 
really hope I get to this. I'm not sure how many books. I believe there's at least one other book in the series. I don't think it's a standalone. So yeah, that's my slightly overly ambitious October TBR. Yeah, that's it for this video, and I hope to see you guys next time. Keep on reading, my fellow book addicts. Keep on reading.